to appear without hijab. It's not permissible at all. It will never be permissible in Islam. You have to be smart. Let her love Islam. Let her feel honor. The honor with the hijab. Yani, uh, uh, in the Fox News in 2001, there is a, a, something happened for like three minutes, three minutes, and they didn't repeat it till now. They didn't bring it any time. It just was on air, just what was life. That uh, a lady from Fox News, she saw a complete covered woman walking in Manhattan close by the World Trade Center. She stopped her and she made interview, short interview with her. And she said, what are you wearing? Now you're covering all of this. Uh, uh, you have to make it light a little bit, at least covering your face and gloves and especially that we are in this dilemma now and Muslims, uh, 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 that, that all of the fingers to Muslims, that they did that. She, th she thought that maybe uh, somebody foreigner or somebody alien or maybe Pakistani or maybe African-American will speak behind this niqab. She shocked that the person behind the niqab, she was an American-American. And she said to her, you are committing bias crime right now. Because when you ask me to light my hijab, as if you don't like my skin and you, and, and you, and you request to change my skin color. Because my hijab to me, like my skin to my body. She said, okay, I'm sorry, okay, excuse me. And then, and they didn't. You can't see this anymore. Those who saw it life, they, they told me about it. You can't have it anymore. So this American lady, she feel the honor of the hijab. To feel, we need for, for the hearts of our wives to have the hijab. We need the hijab in the heart first. We need the hijab in the heart, not the hijab by force. Hijab, but if we don't, if we don't succeed to convince, then it has to be even by force. But when she feels the honor of wearing hijab, she 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 will feel that this is something. Yeah, the upgrade for her among the community. That's upgrade for her. It's not downgrade. That's upgrade for her. Yes. But, uh, I have a question. All the way. I'm asking about if you open business, then you know how credit card, but people can use credit cards to your business. Okay. The question that if you have a store, if you have business, and you, and you get the machine of the credit card, and you sell your products to people using their credit cards, and you pay the percentage to the company. This is, I don't, uh, I don't see that there is any problem with this. Because it's like uh, uh, those people who are coming by the American Express card or whatever cards, and you have the machine, the, the, the percentage that you pay to the company, it's like a bonus or it's a something uh, uh, that because they sent their customers and you pay them this percentage 
because of the customers coming by their car. That's no problem. That's no problem, inshallah. Sharif, you know you have something. Yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of times, like, uh, when uh, somebody passed away, condolences and things like that, uh, people, uh, some people do the seven day and 40 days. Seven days? Yeah, seven day, like seven mm -hmm. day fees. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a practice in the community, like, they will set a day aside, say, people are busy because of time, they set a day aside for people to go extend their condolences to the person who is bereaved. Uh, I really want you to comment on that, you know, if, indeed, if it is sincere that the purpose is because of convenience or because of time, what is the hook? I know some people will do it just to celebrate that selling their fees, but what if it is, if it is done for convenience sake? We have to, you have to be, we have to change the habit of innovations. We have to be separate. Uh, we can have something else, like saying that that person will pray Maghrib and Isha in the masjid three days. Whoever wants to give him the aza, come to the masjid. That's, that's a solution. Or any person meet him in the market or in the or, or go to his house or it, it it doesn't has to be a sit down for this. Kana ashabu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam yauduna al ijtima'a inda ahl al mayyit lil aza aw takhsisa makan lil aza kanu yauduna dhalika min al niyaha التي نهى عنها رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. It's forbidden in the Sunnah uh, to specify a place and a time for people to come to sit for the Aza. This is against the Sunnah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. But if it happened by the way, like in the Masjid or in his house, or something like this, without organizing it, with, without planning, then there is no problem. But we, even if we know, we're looking for the convenience of the people, we have to make something not similar like the bid'ah. We have to find something different than the bid'ah. Otherwise, they would say, look at the sheikh of the sunnah, they are doing like we do in our, ba in, in our communities back home. So it's not bid'ah then. That, that the confusion will take place with the people. Well, we have to do something separate. When we concern about the convenience of the time or something, we don't have to do it together. It's not a must to do it together. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I have read something about the Sarah <laughs> in the Muslim. Yes. Alhamdulillah. I mean, I want to know something about it. About what? The Saraka box. I, I read yeah, what is the question? You have to specify a question. Yeah. I read Sadaqa this. box. This is the Sadaqa box. Right there. What's, what, what is the question about the Sadaqa box? Yeah, I, I read that it uh, is not allowed in Islam to add it in the masjid because... In, you read? Yeah, I read it. About it. And somebody told me about it, but I make sure, I, I, I mean... This was the first time that I read this stuff, and this was the first time now somebody else now tell me about now with the Saraka box that is not allowed to have the Saraka box in the masjid because it's like a way 